Moving to the economy now, the Federal Reserve today decided to take further action to give the economy a boost. Wall Street liked it. The Dow soared 206 points. And we asked Wyatt Andrews to tell us more about what the Fed plans to do. It's the first time the Federal Reserve has committed to boost the economy every month and keep interest rates low until unemployment goes down. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke said the economic recovery, especially in the U.S. job market, is stuck. <laughs> this is a Main Street policy because what we're about here is trying to get jobs going. We're trying to create more employment. Specifically, the Fed will buy $40 billion worth of mortgage bonds every month. The idea being to drive mortgage rates even lower than their historic lows now. Bernanke says if it works, the plan should increase home buying, help the stock market, and drive up consumer spending. If people feel that their financial situation is better because their 401k looks better, or for whatever reason their house is worth more, they're more willing to go out and spend, and that's going to provide the demand that firms need in order to be willing to hire and to invest. While Wall Street loved the announcement, the Fed's open-ended commitment to keep interest rates low has a downside. It could hurt retirees living on fixed incomes and anyone invested in savings accounts or money market funds. Republican nominee Mitt Romney, who's already promised to fire Ben Bernanke, called the Fed's intervention confirmation that President Obama's policies have not worked. We should be creating wealth, Romney said in a statement, not printing dollars. 